So I think you have to know that uh, the activities, let's say tourism in Chamonix started a long, long time ago. The first two visitors that we call today our first tourists came in 1741, two English young guys, and they discovered, let's say, the beautiful valley, and they discovered the first big glacier, and they named it the Sea of Ice. In French we say La Mer de Glace because until that time the people were frightened of the mountains. Nobody went up. You see, nowadays we take our rucksacks, we walk up, have a picnic. But in those days they saw there were lots of devils and monsters living up in the mountains, so nobody would go there. She said okay. devils and monsters. monsters. There is one. <laughs> <laughs> well, how did they think that there was devils and monsters? I mean, just because they'd never been up there, right? No, but when you look at these mountains and you hear the noises loud, like avalanches coming down, right. rocks falling, big thunderstorms. There's things they did not understand. Now certainly Mont Blanc and the mountain is known for all the famous mountain climbers mm -hmm. who come here to try to climb up that sucker. How big is it and why do you think people try to climb up it? Uh, first of all, the Mont Blanc is the highest mountain in Europe, 4,810 meters. It looks beautiful and it looks easy. Yeah. It is not easy. It Take a couple like, hours, right? It looks <laughs> like a round white snow mountain, but it's a tough walk to get there and it's a dangerous walk also to come back down. So we are starting uh, from Chamonix, which is at about 1,000 meters, and we will take uh, one of the highest cable car in Europe. How high up will we go? We will go at 3,842 meters. Which is about 12,000 feet. Yes. All right, and you brought your hang glider because we're going to sail down like this from uh, the top, right? If you were nice. If you were <laughs> if you're a good boy, yes. <laughs> and if I'm a bad boy, I get pushed off the mountain? Yes, you will. Don't fall. Stay with me. Stay with me. <laughs> <laughs> now look, she made me put this hat on. Yeah, nice hat, isn't it? It's a lovely <laughs> chapeau. All right, now you really can't get a great feeling for how high we are up here. But right now we're up here, we're 12,000 feet. Yes, almost 12, 3,800 meters or something. And uh, we can see everything. We can see Italy, of course. We can see Matterhorn in Switzerland. We can see Pittsburgh. <laughs> San Francisco, San Toronto. Francisco, yes. Absolutely. Now, absolutely spectacular, folks. You know, when you come to Chaminade, you come to the French Alps. This is something people dream of. It's the next departure. Oh, no, I thought he said, do you want a whiskey? No, 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 no. Not, not at that time. It's <laughs> Very good. In a few minutes. This is what you've come for. I mean, not only the great golf in Chaminade, but you've come for the lifestyle. You've come for the great food, the great wine, but yet to, to scale the mountain too, yeah? Yeah, it's right. And that's a very, very special point. Uh, the Guy de Midi, you can be uh, within 20 minutes and have a, a food uh, in the middle of uh, the heart of uh, the Alps, the French Alps. And it's really amazing for People have never been uh, so high in their life, so... Uh, I'm actually up here looking for my title list. I lost yes, I lost my golf ball. Yes, really? And it curved, and I oh. think it might have come up so here maybe, somewhere. Maybe I'm going to look for it. Around. <laughs> so, in the winter time, there is a very special, uh, not really a ski pass, well, it's, it's not a, a prepared itinerary. It's a glacier itinerary. It's it has to be done with a mountain guide. So the people go up on the top of the Guilmidi, and then when they arrive here, they put some spikes under their shoes, and they walk all this way with ropes and spikes. Uh, we can see people just now. Can you see them? In the winter time, it's oh, yeah. a little bit. Oh, let me go that way. Yeah. In the, yeah. in the winter time, it's um, it's more, uh, it's larger, and you have some ropes to help you. All right, you know what? Frustration in golf takes many forms, whether you're an American, 
a Frenchman or a Japanese guy. <laughs> Doesn't matter where you're playing. What's your What's your swear word? Uh, no, I. I, I it's it's Stewart water. What? Stewart water. What, what did you say? Son of a. <laughs> and what was yours? <laughs> No, I... You won't do it? Not no, even in no, Japanese? No, no, no. Not even in Japanese he won't Japanese do it. Japanese people are very polite, you know? <laughs> Boy, he's been in a shock of all me day, screaming, throwing clubs. The Japanese are very polite. Except for Arnold here, he gets a little crazy sometimes. Well, uh, uh, oh, no, exactly. Uh, stay with the Zen. You know the Zen? Spirit of the Zen. Yeah? <laughs> it's the only spirit of the Zen. Spirit of the Zen. Sounds good to me. You are too big, huh? You know. You're too little. <laughs> there we are. You are Mont Blanc. I'm Fuji. <laughs> Mount Fuji and Mont Blanc. Well, get in there. Let's talk to the folks. <laughs> okay. You know what? This is so gorgeous playing in the Chaumonet Valley here in yes. France. Yes. The mountain range is all around us. Now, this is one of your favorite holes. Tell us all about number 16. How are you going to play it? How long it is? Uh, this is uh, the par 4 and the. Uh, 400 uh, meters, so a little bit long for the four, par four, but uh, you're gonna give yes. it a go. Yes. Now here, let's really freak the folks out at home. <laughs> Ta a Japanese man now speaking fluent <laughs> French. Do it. Uh, Genki desu ka? Sayonara. This is French, yeah? No. <laughs> <laughs> Crack the ball. Uh, ball is a little bit light side. So I think it's a fair way, it's very short, uh, narrow here, but I think, uh, I hope, ball is uh, on the fair way. I hit the left side in the bunker. Yes, you hit the left side of the bunker. What do you do? Where, where I do? The, where what? I want? This I is want golf, to... okay? You hit the green, not the bunker. But I, I, I must practice of bunker, so today... True. Yeah. Have you seen me hit any bunkers? <laughs> no, not at all. You are always OB. I'll pay you later, <laughs> OB. <laughs> All right, yes. I want you to say goodbye, everybody, from Chaumonet, France. Yes, we have another one hole, but uh, this is the best hole I prefer. So I because said because Mont Blanc is Mont behind Blanc. us. So, so goodbye, and see you in Chamonix uh, next summer. <laughs>